Where are the Furious Five? They never appeared in The Dragon Knight. They never showed up in The Paws of Destiny. And most recently, they didn't even make an appearance in the official trailer of Kung Fu Panda 4. We literally haven't seen them since The Legends of Awesomeness and Kung Fu Panda 3 back in 2016. So what have they been up to? Why haven't they been involved in Poe's recent adventures? And will we be seeing them in Kung Fu Panda 4? Well, for sure they will be making an appearance. The director, Mike Mitchell, stated that all of the old characters are back, but specifically, the Furious Five will make an appearance. But he also emphasized that Poe is leaving the Valley of Peace and going on a huge adventure to a giant city where he will encounter many, many new characters. So from the sound of it, the Furious Five, these beloved characters that have been involved in Poe's journey as the Dragon Warrior, since the very beginning are not going to be an integral part of the next chapter of the Kung Fu Panda saga. Since they accepted Poe as the Dragon Warrior, they have been very loyal friends that we've seen engage with him and grow with him and are just always there for him. I mean, come on. The last time Poe went to a giant city, Gongmin City, he brought the Furious Five with him to attempt to defeat Lord Shen and his Kung Fu destroying weapon. Now, of course, even from the very beginning, Poe and the Furious Five did operate as separate entities. Master Shifu trained Poe in the mountains overlooking the Valley of Peace, while the Furious Five went to face Tai Lung on their own. And in the final film of the original trilogy, we saw that the Furious Five gave Poe space to attempt to master Chi while they split up to search for Kai and protect the Valley of Peace. But now the Furious Five seem like they're being sidelined. In Kung Fu Panda 4, we're told that Poe is going to be on the search for the next dragon warrior since he is going to be ascending to the position of the spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. And while that might be something that he needs to internally do, that he must go on his own to discover, I hope that won't lead to him pushing his best friends to the side. If the Furious Five aren't going to be a major part of Poe's legend anymore, I hope that there is an explanation that allows those characters to move on in a grand and meaningful way. We are shown in the short Kung Fu Panda Holiday that there are numerous Kung Fu schools all across China. I think it'd be incredible to see each member of the Furious Five get to lead their own Kung Fu school. Figure out how to build their school and recruit students and rise to the occasion of becoming teachers would be something that would be time consuming, meaningful, and powerful. Each generation teaches the next one, and so the art of Kung Fu lives on. Of course, the sad reality of that would be that the Furious Five would need to disband to have that take place. But I think it would explain away their absence over the last few years. Now, specifically for Tigress, I do think there should be something special for her. I know that throughout the Kung Fu Panda fandom, there is a hyper fixation on Tigress and her awesomeness. I've even heard the idea that she is one of the most deserving characters of having a spinoff in the DreamWorks canon, and I have to agree. And I think something that would be so cool for her would be to rise as Shifu's true successor. I mean, since Tigress was an orphan, Master Shifu has been raising her. She was the student that came after Tai Lung, who Shifu nurtured and trained and pushed to the brink. Throughout Tigress's childhood, she had a difficult relationship relationship with Shifu, but over the years it has melted away to be love, and in many ways Shifu acted as her father. In the Legends of Awesomeness, we had learned that Shifu was a part of the Furious Five before the one he created with Tigress. And I think that lineage should continue with Tigress looking after and building the next Furious Five. I mean, listen, if Poe is passing the baton of Dragon Warrior to a new student, why couldn't the Furious Five be doing that as well? There's going to be a new Dragon Warrior who says there can't be a new Furious Five. But where do you think the Furious Five have been after all of these years? Let me know in the comments. And of course, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a very magical rest of your day.